From warmth in the nursery to a nursery for warmth. Every nine seconds, this giant press in a factory at Southall, Middlesex, stamps out a complete set of radiator pressings from sheet steel. It's an antidote for power cuts to come. Clamped to what welders call a horn's bar, the pressings have already taken on a semblance of their final shape. But don't be deceived, each separate unit has still to be welded. This is where the 15 burners of the circumference machine take charge. They're capable of welding a total of 80 feet in just over five minutes. eyes keep a careful watch on the hot inner cones of the flames, which have a temperature of more than 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The shape and colour of those cones tells him whether the mixture of oxygen and acetylene is right. Both the speed of rotation and the angle of the flames need careful watching to ensure a perfect weld. Now there remains only one more job before the sections are married into complete units. Sliding jaws hold them firmly in position on the assembly machine and, with his eyes shielded from the blinding glare, the welder lowers a rotating burner which makes one complete join in 45 seconds. A plunge in and out of a bath of heat-resisting paint and the job's finished. Steel radiators are in great demand for communal heating schemes. Someday, maybe, they'll pipe hot air from Westminster to heat the whole country.